Hello everyone, this is Arthur Bello from Sladio and in today's video I'm going to show you a very fast way to generate content outlines, generate FAQs and then generate related topics to create a topical map. Let's get into it. Okay, today's video is going to be very short. Uh, let's jump into it. I'm going to show you the first prompt and as usual, all of these prompts will be in the description or the comments down below. Uh, and if you would like more prompts or videos like this, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to, uh, you can give it a comment so the algorithm picks up my video and I can, and I can provide you more tips like this. So the first prompt for generating a very good outline is act as a semantics lexical semantics and xyz expert whatever your topic is my topic is muffins how to bake the perfect muffins so i'm going to be or i'm going to ask ChatGPT to act as a baking expert um i want to write an article titled xyz so in my case how to bake the perfect muffins the tone of voice of the article should be concise and clear now you know you can give it any kind of tone of voice you can even analyze the tone of voice uh, of your competitors i'll show that in another video and then you can paste that in uh, the heading structure should follow the logical structure of the html headings the target audience for this article are people who are looking for the best way to bake a muffin now you can extract this from your competitors article as well and that will be in another video too but for now you know uh, just give give something basic it perfectly works uh, provide me with a list of headings and structure for a knowledge base include semantic points and lexical semantic connections it doesn't usually add this um, it didn't for this topic because it's uh, because it's uh, so simple but if you're working with a much uh, more complex topic then you know, it will generate so many points, lexical so many connections, or maybe even edges uh, if you give it. So here's what it came up with. Uh, it says, sure, here's an outline. Uh, it gave us an introduction, uh, briefly introduced the topic, ingredients, equipment, preparation, baking, variations, uh, serving and storage, conclusion. Uh, now, I don't say this is, uh, you know, perfect by any means, but it's a very good start. Um, if you are really an expert in, you know, baking or or you really, uh, you know, are interested in the topic, then you should do your own research as well because you should never yet, of course, uh, trust the tools. But this gives us a very, very good starting point. Uh, and you can even, uh, you know, get it more defined uh, if you if you type in, you know, better prompts. Uh, for the, the, so the second part is generating questions and answers or just FAQs questions related to the topic. Now this could be used for you. Now this could be used for adding FAQs at the end of your article uh, and you can add uh, structured data schema to the end of your article which uh, has these questions and answers and it will appear in the SERP uh, giving you a little bit more real estate in the SERP for your keyword. Um, so the prompt is what other questions could a target audience have if they are searching for this topic give me xyz amount of related questions i typed in 15. so as you can see it gave me 15 related questions how can i mom, how can i make my muffins rise properly how do i prevent my muffins from sticking to the pan now these all all the questions that the target audience that looks for this type of topic could could have and of course you could you should do your own research as well in google or reddit whatever uh, related to this topic but this is again a very good starting point um and just as just as I was you know preparing for this video I thought of uh, something that could help you kind of build a topical map as well of course in the previous video we talked about building a topical map but here if you want you can add like what other semantically related topics should I talk about on my website if you want if I wanted to become an authority on on whatever specifically so muffin specifically why I say specifically because I tried adding uh on muffins and it just generated you know all of the uh, general type of topics like baking whatever which is too broad for me i only want muffins uh you know and you can do it like for whatever topic but i find it if it's if you give it like a specific instruction or a specific way to do things it's much more uh you, you get be much better uh outputs so as you can see uh it gave me a bunch of topic ideas uh that i could use uh you know for my topical map for example type of muffins that could be one uh, cluster for a topical map muffin toppings and fillings that could be another cluster muffin techniques muffin ingredients muffin history muffin health benefits 
health benefits, um, you know, and you can maybe even uh, talk about different type of health benefits uh, there. Uh, muffin presentation and muffin equipment. Um, so this is basically a very, very quick way to generate an outline for your article. You can also type in generate me an article outline for this keyword and it will give you a kind of a generic. I found it better. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you a more advanced way of generating an outline with using Surfer SEO entities uh, and you know basically a very similar prompt uh so yep yeah, that's it all of the all of the prompts will be in the description and if you liked it give the video a thumbs up subscribe uh leave a comment if you want and i'll be back with other videos like this see you in the next video bye, -bye.